that song is going to go out for a special dedication in a minute to a friend on Instagram called Tiger Roll. Hey, girl. But first, woohoo! Score at the cart market. Look at these. 25 cents a piece acorn squash. I'm going to be coming to y'all later showing you how to make this into the soup of love and glory and plate it up like something on Martha Stewart Raw. Um, look, there are one, two, three, four, five of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. These are supposed to be yellow when they're all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen cucumbers. I like these that are supposed to be for pickling, but they're really crisp. Zucchinis, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two of these celeries. And one, two, three, four, five. Five avocados. I got all that for seven dollars at the car market off the ugly table. Bam! And then over at Aldi, I got three of these for one sixty-nine a piece. I think sweet mini peppers, seventy-nine cents a bag today. Mushrooms. I got four of these mangoes. Anyway, this whole haul together was like, let's see. 12 and 7, less than $20. I'm estimating because I got some Christopher foods too. Let's step out here because I got my boy. We have company coming. Hey. <laughs> no, he's like, God, mom, not while I'm cleaning. He's always helping the mother. Anyway, so I had gone over to get groceries and I want to show y'all this that fabulous deal. But too, when I'm over there at Aldi, they have great buys on stuff like um, wild rice and, and corn pasta, tortilla chips, stuff that Christopher likes to eat that I've, you know, of course, I'm not going to consume that and I don't promote him doing it. However, if he's going to eat a raw salad, the dressing I make, and he's only going to want me to crumble up some tortilla chips on there for him to be happy with it. That's a barter I'm willing to make, you know what I mean? So, when it comes to teenagers or your kids, you know, teenagers have the ability to leave this home and make some of their own choices, even if he, he isn't walking around pocketing money all the time, which he never is. People hand him food. He can get stuff at school and at the cafeteria. And so when I try to get him to eat fruits and vegetables, and he will, you know, I praise him for that, and I try to have a little more workable plan for him. Um, though at the same time he respects and understands and appreciates the lifestyle I lead and knows that at some point he, he will need to aspire to that to escape sickness and things. So, you know, the fact that he knows is what's important to me. Because you can teach a child, you know, and they can go astray, but they'll always come back to what they know that's the truth, you know. So, um, anyway, on Instagram today, a friend of mine that I chit chat with on there, her name is Tiger Raw. Hey, girl. She had this little, some kind of little metal tag. It, it um, it's kind of the shape of a dog tag, but not that big. And um, it said RAW, R-A-W, in capital letters. It was metal. It was kind of small, like it might be a little charm or a keychain or something. And she said RAW. You know, it's not just about what you eat. It represents how you live. Do you live your life RAW? Do you peel it back and let the raw you show? Like, blank raw. Who are you? Tanny raw. I mean, it's like, it's a whole nother feature of this life besides the health aspect and, and physically what it does for you and, and mentally, but it's a freedom to be you. A freedom to peel it back and just be raw, you know, to live your life, like I keep on saying. But Tiger Raw, I was just on board with that. I thought, that's what I'm saying. And that's what she's saying. And it's so encouraging to be able to reach out and see other people with the same mindset as us, is it not? It's a gorgeous Saturday. I hope people are just breathing every moment of this day. Christopher and I have company coming over. We're excited! We have friends coming over and we're gonna clean up a little bit and um and we might serve some stuff. I might I don't know. I already had some Nana nuggets and oh I also got about 
eight sell bananas off the the table at the curb market which I already ate on the way home. They were very ripe and very tasty. Christopher was bringing the groceries in. He didn't go with me and he was like, oh, did you buy the bananas like this? Of course he was joking, but it was just like a wad of banana peels. <laughs> fast food, friends. I was like, yeah, I just, I just have fast food today. He was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I just want to come to y'all with that and I just wanted to, to do that shout out to Tiger Raw because that's what it's all about. Living your raw life, you know? and just being different. Christopher, what do you think about, do you think it bothers us to be different or, or we just feel like we can be ourselves? Does it bother your mother? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I'm really asking for it now. I got him vacuum and, and on interview and a smooch. He's gonna get me when I, when I turn y'all off. <laughs> Will you dance? No. The eye of the Christopher. 